Good morning, class A. Today we have algebraic expressions. I have already explained one day ki what are the terms used in algebra. For example, what are algebraic expressions? What is coefficient, numerical coefficient, literal coefficients? What are the terms? Now you see some operation. We have to learn the addition of algebraic expressions, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I re explain how can you add the given algebraic expressions and how can you subtract. Now you see question number one. Five x by one term. Second term minus two x y. Minus three minus eleven x y third term and fourth term is x y. I have already told you every terms have some numerical coefficients and the variables. Variables may be single or double, it depends upon the question. Now you see, you have to add all these four terms. So first method, so what do you see all from this question? All the terms have same variables, x, y, x, y, x, y, x, y. So you, you can take the common variables outside the bracket and you simplify the remaining coefficients. This is 5 plus minus 2 plus minus 11 plus 8. So what do you see here? Now we are seeing that the variables are out of the way. Because all are like terms. Like terms? Why are like terms? Because all these terms have same variables and same powers are also same. And now the copy is saying 5 minus 2 minus 11, 8. Now you find the sum of this 4. So what will you get? You will get 5 minus 2 minus 11 plus 8. And this will be x1. Now you simplify minus 5 minus 2, 3. 3 minus 11, 3 minus 11, minus 8. And come here, did you? Yeah, see. So 3 minus 5 minus 2, 3. 3 minus 8, minus 8, minus 8 plus 8, 0. 0 into x1. Is it going to be 0? How did you get zero? Because zero, this is the property of zero. Zero is multiplied to any number or any term. The product always we get that is zero. So this is the solution of question number one. So five x y minus two x y minus eleven x y eight x y, and this is the sum of all these four terms. So now you can, I need you gain more knowledge, you will simplify 5 minus 2. Or like this, 5 plus 8, 13. A minus 2, a minus 11, minus 13. Similarly, you can uh, simplify with uh, numerical coefficients, either by simplifying the same, uh, the coefficient with the same sum, sim or you can continue by simplifying any two numerical coefficients. Now you see subtract. How many times? Three times. You subtract these three times from these given terms. So first method is number uh, third again 5x square minus 11x plus 19 and subtract symbol for minus and you subtract 2x square 
माइनस फाइव एक्स एंड प्लस टेन तो फर्स्ट में से यू सी फर्स्ट यू राइट दो टर्म्स विच फ्रॉम विच यू हैव टू सर्ट एंड नाउ यू राइट दो टर्म्स विच आर टू बी सर्ट रखे नाउ यू सी यू राइट इट ऑफ फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस इलेवन ए प्लस नाइनटीन Now you see here is minus and this is the rule to remove the bracket. If there is a minus sign before, so all the signs will be checked. So this plus two, this will be minus two x square, minus five x, this will be plus five x, and plus ten, this will be minus ten. So we have removed the bracket. Now you combine the like terms. 5x square a minus 2x square. So if you simplify, you will get 3x square minus 11x and like term 5x minus 11 plus 5 minus 6 minus 6x and plus 19 a minus 10. So this will be plus 9. This is the subtraction. This is the process. Now you see. <coughs> One more method that is the column method. How can you find that difference? Also, this can be used in case of addition. You will see in this question. I see question to be here. And column method से बताते हैं कैसे minus करते हैं. You write five x square minus eleven x plus nineteen. Are you write this this term two x square minus five x plus ten? Now you see, like terms will be in the same column. Like term, like term, like term. Now you have to subtract. So you will change the sign. Here two means plus. Plus this will be changed into minus. Minus will be changed into plus. And plus will be changed into minus. And these two sign you have to operate. Plus five and minus two. Plus five and minus two. So this will be three x square minus eleven x plus five x. You will take this sign. Ten minus ten minus five. No, it is plus five. And plus two, no. This is minus two. So these two signs are used for the operation. So plus five minus two, three x square minus eleven plus five minus minus six x and plus minus minus nine x minus ten. So this is the another method that is called column method. So this is the sum, or this is the difference. Now you see the sum. How will you add these three algebraic expressions? So now you see the addition of this question. Oh, now I will write this question. You have to add. Four x square minus five x by plus three by x square. First expression: eight x square plus seven x by minus six by x square, and third minus two x square minus nine x by. And plus thirty by a square. I am explaining the sum of this uh, leveling expressions by column method, as you have learned in case of subtraction. So first method is first uh, process is in this method you write all the like terms in the same column: four x square, eight x square, minus two x square. Now these are the like terms because they have the same variable, same power, and this is also these are also like terms. Now you see, you 
you simplify that numerical coefficient plus 4 plus 8, 12. 12 minus 2, 10. 10 excess power. Minus 5 plus 7, minus plus minus. 7 minus 5, 2. This is positive 2. And plus 2 or minus 9. Minus 7. So you will write and this will be that variable. Now here the coefficients. Plus 3 minus 6, minus 3. Minus 3 plus 13, plus 10. 10 by a square. Now this is the sum. Now this is this method is called column method. Or you can also add like this. 4x squared minus 5x by plus 3 by a squared. 3 by a squared. Plus. How much? 8x squared plus 7x by minus 6 by a squared. And plus. Minus 2x squared minus 9x by and 12 by this yes. This is direct method. Now you see, you write like this 4x squared minus 5x by plus 3 by a square and this will be plus 8x square plus 7x by minus 6 by a square. Now sign is plus so no sign change minus 2x square minus 9x by plus 13 by x by. After that you choose, you collect all the terms having the same variables or means uh, like terms 4x square, 8x square and minus 2x square because they have different numerical uh, coefficients but they have same variable and same power. These are called like terms, like this. Yes. So these are the like terms having the variables x and power is two. Now you see another term minus 5x by plus 7x by and these are the like terms with the variables x by. And now you see we have 3 by a square minus 6 by a square and plus 30 by a square. But this, is, this column method is most available, although you can simplify like this. Now you see, you take the common variables and you take outside and you simplify the coefficient. You will take coefficient 4 plus 8 minus 2. And this will be minus 5 plus 7 and minus minus uh, 9x1 minus 9 and this will be x1 and similarly plus plus 3 minus 6 plus 13 and you simplify Plus, 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 you will, you should know this symbol, rule of symbol, so both plus, we have plus, both minus, we have plus, same sign, we have sum, plus, and different sign, minus, plus, or plus, minus, you will get negative, so you will remember these rules, plus 4, uh, plus 8, 12, 12 minus 2, 10, 10 x squared. Now you see here. So similarly you can simplify minus 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 2 or minus 9 minus 7 minus 7 and 8 plus 3 minus 6 minus 3 minus 3 plus 10 yeah plus 13 plus 10 10 by s power. Why is that? Can we add this or subtract? No because they have the they are not light terms. Light terms can be added or subtracted. These are unlike terms because powers, yeah, powers are different. Maybe variable same, but power and variable both should be same. So this is the sum and uh, difference. And next time I will explain how many 
And if like that, even as a very good person, you will try to solve the question. And I am sure you will be able to solve most of the question. Thank you for today and have a